Hello everyone, it so happened that a wooden gazebo built many years ago with walls made of OSB sheets stood for a long time without external finishing, and finally, it was decided to decorate its walls. I really wanted to see the finish in a more or less natural form, therefore, it was decided to abandon the standard options such as facade panels or siding. Finishing using natural stone, too, had to be abandoned due to its high price, and therefore it was decided to decorate the walls with an imitation of natural stone by forming it from tile adhesive directly on the walls. By the way, you can see the decoration of the walls of the chalet-style outbuilding in my other video, the link to which you will find below in the description of this video. So, the walls of the gazebo were panels made of OSB sheet and inserted between the racks of natural wood in order that the future decoration of the facade did not protrude beyond the dimensions of the gazebo the panels were slightly recessed into the interior of the room before starting work i treat all panels with a special primer that includes fine quartz sand it should improve the adhesion when applying the adhesive layer then using self-tapping screws and a galvanized steel strip i screw a galvanized steel mesh onto all panels the mesh will prevent slipping and will more reliably hold the adhesive mass on a vertical surface. Next, I mix tile glue with water, add fiberglass to the solution. With the first layer, I apply the ready-made solution so as to completely cover the mesh. After applying the first layer, letting it dry, I apply the tile adhesive in the second layer, on this layer I will form future stones. After applying the second layer, using an ordinary nail dipped in water, I draw outlines of future stones. I try to press the nail down to the hardened first layer. If you don't like the drawing somewhere, you can always fix it by laying the cut groove, with fresh mortar and drawing the contours of the stone in a new place. After applying the contour of the stones, the moment comes to form the stones with a spatula, I try to have time to do this before the glue sets. I move the seams apart with a spatula, manually form each individual stone, while trying to leave as few unnatural marks from the spatula as possible, and make the seams of different widths. After all the stones and the seams between them are formed, until the glue mass has not completely seized, usually immediately the next day, using sandpaper, I clean the surface of the formed stones and the seams between them. Having cleaned the surface and traces of the trowel, you can start painting the stones. For which I use the usual color diluted in water. For my version of the stones, I used a base color of a marsh color, on top of which I apply a coffee color with light brush strokes. To give a uniform natural color, I tampon on the painted surface using a regular sponge. Having achieved the desired shade of stones, the surface covered with color must be protected from precipitation. To do this, I cover the surface with a special weather-resistant varnish with a wet stone effect. After coating the surface with varnish, the color of the stones becomes slightly richer and darker. In such a simple way, you can decorate not only the facade or the basement of the building, but also, for example, decorate the outer walls of a street stove, a barbecue, a video about which I hope you will see soon.
That's all. Subscribe to my channel. Put your likes. Good luck to all.